What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com Today with another ROM and a flash review This time for the Galaxy S2 Cognition S2 version 1.15 Okay, so this is Cognition S2 version 1.15. 1.20 will be coming out soon. This is based on KG1 firmware. Uh, 1.20 will be based on KG2 firmware. So we can take a look at our settings and about foam. And you can see that it's 1.15 uh, with the Design Gears kernel. Uh, most of you guys know DG from way back in the day on the Captivate and even before that on another device that I'm not quite sure of what it was, but I know he's a, he's a well-known, well-recognized developer, and this ROM does not disappoint. Um, Cognition in the past and in the present um, has always been uh, about smooth, swift speed uh, with stock-like appearances, but all the benefits of a custom ROM, so you'll notice we'll have Super User, the Clockwork Mod app, and uh, obviously pre-rooted, deodexed, and zip aligned out of the box. Um, it does support support SIP over Wi-Fi and 3G. It's got the accurate battery mod, the extended power menu options, which are for the uh, power off, reboot, recovery, and download. Um, so it does have all those options. It's got AOSP, Wi-Fi, and data icons. Uh, so up top you can see those uh, Nexus style um, looking icons. Uh, it does not have the ascending ring tone, so it's going to be loud right out of the box or to whatever volume you have. Ad blocking is supported via the uh, host file, so it's been edited. Uh, the battery full notification vibration has been disabled, and uh, TV animation has been um, added, so we can see that right there. I've noticed that small bug, but graphically you can see that uh, it does have some static. Uh, I found if I reboot the phone, that won't be there. I don't know what causes the glitch. Not a big deal, but I uh, did notice that it's graphically got a little bug to it to where it kind of has a staticky power off. Uh, perhaps that's a, you know, maybe that's a modified version of it to make it maybe look more staticky like a TV would. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, this is the default wallpaper. Uh, one thing cool about the app is it has the newer market, which is uh, found in the newer firmwares and it's got a whole different look and feel to it. I'm gonna make a separate video just to show you guys the market and show you what that looks like. Uh, over, over scroll Glow is obvious in the uh, settings menu, so you can see top and bottom, you got the orange over scroll uh, Glow to it. One other thing that this thing has is removed text NMS emails from the call log, so as you guys know, if you went to the logs, you would see all of your info, not just call logs. That actually is quite annoying to me, and I know it is to many other people. That's now been removed, so you will only see the calls. Uh, all system applications have been updated to the latest Google Apps, removed tons of bloatware, and uh, boot up sounds are non-existent in this as well. So that is Cognition version 1.15 based on KG1 as we mentioned. Uh, KG2 will be coming soon. Uh, it's already out from samfirmware.com and lots of developers have hopped on it. DG will be on the boat soon with version 1.20. Be sure to check out the download mode jig here from uh, mobiletechvideos.com. Simple way to download mode and more importantly it resets the custom firmware counter on the Galaxy S2, so you can see that right there. Uh, erasing download information succeeded. So check that out at the link in the description below. Be sure to bookmark us, mobiletechvideos.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and above all, subscribe here on YouTube so you can get the latest updates for your Galaxy S2. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.